are here live on TBP TV. I'm Joanna Beise with Nana Efia Aqua. The news is sponsored by Arches Media Institute and Chai Fans. In the headlines, Major Mohammed's murder, three to challenge conviction that fetched them life imprisonment. Chief Justice dragged to Shraj over missing court records, ordering arrest of lawyer. Now on the news in detail. Lead counsel for three of the 12 individuals convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment for the killing of Major Maxwell Mahama says his clients will challenge their conviction. According to Teofilos Kafui Donko, his clients are convinced the judge misdirected the jury, which they think influenced the verdict against them. Therefore, they have asked him to take the matter to a higher level in an appeal. Speaking on Joy FM's News 9, the lawyer said, my clients are not satisfied with the directions that the judge gave to the jury, so they have instructed me to appeal their decision on their behalf. In other stories, a senior police officer and lawyer, assistant superintendent of police, Ako Goya Kubu Ayamia, has dragged the Chief Justice to Commission of Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Shraj. He accused Chief Justice Gertrude Tokono of abusing her office and powers after she ordered his arrest during a sitting of the Apex Court in November 2023. In a detailed rejoinder to the media reportage on the issue, Ayamia explained a sequence of events leading to his arrest, an action he explained was influenced by a rush of anger, prejudice and malice on the part of the Chief Justice, constituting an abuse of judicial power. Moving on. The Ashanti Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, Bernard Enchibo Siako, has been cleared by the Kumasi Traditional Council of alleged derogatory remarks made against the Ashanti Hene during the NPP parliamentary vetting process. Chairman Muntumi denied all allegations leveled against him by the Kokosu Hene, Nana Kwekudia. He appeared before the council with party executives and government officials including Majority Leader Osei Chemen Sabonsu, National Chairman Steven Intim, and General Secretary Justin Frimpong Kodia. According to Chairman Wuntumi, the allegations are false and malicious and not a true reflection of what transpired during the vetting process. In international news, Kofi Amankwa, a Ghanaian immigration lawyer based in New York, is facing up to 15 years in jail for a massive immigration scam that led to losses to state and to thousands of unsuspecting clients. The bronze-based lawyer, according to court papers available to Ghana Web, ran an illegal scheme that scammed hundreds of vulnerable immigrants, leading to financial loss, deportation, and denying green card applications. Amankwa is facing charges along with his son, Kofi Amankwa Jr., and his associate, Sylvester Boateng, Nana Adoma Konto and Bertie Smith. To end the news, a recap of the headlines. Chairman Mutumi set free by Kumasi Traditional Council. He stole people's American dream. U.S. based Ghanaian lawyer faces 15 years in jail. That's all for News Hour. I'm Nana Efia Aqua with Joanna Beisi. News Hour was brought to you by Arches Media Institute and Chai Fans. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment and share. Stay tuned for more news updates.